Hey guys, and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we will not only create Loot Lake, no, we will also recreate the current events with purple liquid soap. And I even bought this bubbling bathing ball, which is melting and also coloring the water in purple. Let's find out which method works best in Loot Lake. Let's face it, we have no idea what Loot Lake will look like in just a few hours when the new Season 6 will be released in Fortnite. And we have some time to kill. Let's create Loot Lake and also the purple version with a lot of liquid soap. But I will get to that point a bit later. Let's get started. Let's create Loot Lake. The reason why I am not drawing on paper is, well, if you're following me on Instagram, you know that my printer broke while I tried to repair it. <laughs> this is why I was drawing on the protection foil of my iPad and it worked pretty nice. Well, now I need a new protection foil for it, but that shouldn't be a problem for now. I am using the scissors to cut out the form, the form of the lake, and we will use this one as the blueprint for the base layer of clay. And we need a lot of clay for this tutorial. Someone asked me on Instagram how much all the clay for just this model would be, and I would probably say about 30 US dollars. I think so. We make a very thin layer of brown clay and this is the chocolate brown. It looks a bit like mud and dirt so it's the perfect start for the lake and I try to get it really smooth so that the whole surface is even and that there are no trouble things coming out which would disturb us. <laughs> I am marking where the islands will go. This is the big island with the beloved house. This is the smaller one with a tent. And in the back side, there's even a third island with just some rocks on it. I am using my scalpel to get where the islands will be after we remo remove this layer of brown clay and of course we just leave the islands where they are right now oops just remove the tiny one it's great to use the protection foil as blueprint it looks quite interesting at least that now my ipad is a bit unprotected <laughs> Um, we need also a lot of grey clay, which stands for all the rocks. And I am doing a time lapse right now because there's a lot of a lot of work. Comparing, I am looking left to my iPad. I am placing the clay at the right position, so this takes a lot of time. I'm really curious, what are your thoughts on the three teasers which we recently saw for season 6? We saw the llama skin, which looks like a DJ, I think. Then there is the cowgirl and the latest one which just was released is the wolf. There's a wolf. And I have no idea, I have some difficulties to get these three very different characters into line that it makes sense to me. I have just no idea. Probably when you are watching this video, season 6 is already out and it makes some sense to you, to all of us. <laughs> so, back to the creation. This will be the main landing stage. I say main landing stage because there's another jetty in the backside of the of Loot Lake right next to a tiny hut and there are even two tiny kayaks right on the landing stage but we will create that later of course. 
There are some buildings, not so many. I was afraid that this map would take forever to create because it's so big. I will show you, I will make a size comparison. I think I already did that right at the beginning, right? There you see the size comparison to Dusty Divot. On this map there are not so many buildings, which is great, but they are very unique buildings. You have these two facilities, factories, whatever this is, right there at the main landing stage. You have on the right side, you can see it now, a very futuristic looking building, probably a hotel, something like that, which is next to the wooden tower, the tiny wooden tower, I guess you know what I mean. And of course we have on the main island, on the big island in the middle, this wooden house, which just looks so nice and comfortable and I would love to live there. Well, just imagine living on such a small island. <laughs> you have no internet, no Wi-Fi, probably. Ah, probably it's not the best idea to, to live on an island. But for a vacation, I would love that. To just calm, calm down and to enjoy nature. I guess that would be amazing. Go fishing, I'm a vegetarian, but <laughs> to know that you can go fishing, this is all what, what matters, right? <laughs> so we take the scalpel and we are cutting the edge of Loot Lake and we try to get all this bunch of clay into shape. And it already looks great after we put on the very thin layer of green clay. And now also some grass for the island. This is our tiny vacation island. Do you have any background information about this house? You know that I'm not so familiar with all the background stories of Fortnite, but maybe you have some more information which I don't have. So please share that with me. I'm really curious about this tiny house. Oh, that would be so great. <laughs> there are some stairs in the hills. I try to create them right now. I think there are even more stairs, but I just went with these four, four of them. And I take this brighter brown for all the ways and all the dirt. And let's put that aside. Let's start creating the houses, the tiny houses. This will be the first factory. This is the one next to the generator. There's an electricity facility thing. And I am using a very thin layer of gray clay for the roof. You don't have to be that much detailed because when the cr whole creation is finished you will look at the whole creation and won't spend so much time on all the tiny details and looking at that. This is the factory I guess. I have no idea which kind of factory. Well there are a lot of um, wheels, car wheels lying around but I guess this is not what it's about, this factory. <laughs> this is supposed to be our vacation home, the house on the island, but I really disliked how this one turned out, so I created it again. You will see that. And I think the second version looks way better. So this is the tiny landing stage we just talked about with the two kayaks. If I had to choose, I would say Loot Lake is my current favorite place in Fortnite. When I started playing Fortnite, I really liked Tilted Towers, probably because there are so many, um, there are so many possibilities to hide. <laughs> then the mountain with the Viking Village, Viking Village in season five came out, and I really liked that one and especially the tiny ship, which I also created. Check out the tutorial if you haven't. And now that I 
spent some time with Loot Lake and somehow I ignored Loot Lake all the time, I really fell in love with this calm and quiet piece of nature with all the buildings which just look so interesting and the tiny cars, this is one of the cars for example and the tiny huts, it's just so relaxing. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the old building, I just talked about that, it doesn't really look well, it, I don't know, somehow I screwed on that. Let's also place the other buildings as well, the two factories, and there are some tiny yellow boxes, well if you're playing they are not so tiny. Two cars and also all the car tires. There are different piles of them. This is the tiny red tent and the fireplace as well. And now we need some dark blue. And this matches perfectly the color of the original lake. So this is um, quite difficult because while creating I already thought that I would fill it up with water. This means while putting in all the layers, all the thin layers of blue clay, I tried to close every tiny gap. <laughs> Let's see if I succeeded with that. <laughs> so also on the back side we will close the gaps with dark blue clay. This is the last gap we are closing. Oh, it already looks so interesting. This is the place where the landing stage will go with the kayaks. Oh, let's remove this piece of clay. And there's the tiny waterfall. Of course, we must not forget this one. For the river I choose to go with a brighter blue as base layer and then the darker one on top. And now it's time to go because we will make a better version of our vacation home. And let's just imagine that we have a pool right there. And No, we, we don't need a pool because we can swim on the lake, right? We have a pool table <laughs> and we have a huge kitchen with delicious food and we even have Wi-Fi. <laughs> This is a tiny piece of aluminum wire. We need three of them for the tiny boats. But let's focus on all the trees we have to create and the former map tutorials. I was so crazy because I started counting each and every tree and I tried to really get them in shape and size as near as possible to the trees in the game. But right now I, I thought I just create a whole bunch of different trees. We have pine trees, these are the broadleaf trees and then we have huge pastures. These are the ones which I really like. They look so nice and we have like five or six of them. I just created some of them and after that I tried to figure out where all the trees would go. I compared it to the images I shot while being in-game and it worked, worked out pretty well I think. So now some liquid clay to make sure that we really closed all the tiny gaps where the water could go. Oh, we need some more. It's always so Fascinating to work with liquid clay. And now we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked loot lake. And we start right away. We take a white pen for all the windows we are drawing onto the tiny houses on our vacation home, of course. But this is the hotel or the futuristic building and also some windows on the factory, but not too much, too many, because the workers should work and not get too much sunlight, right? <laughs> and we start gluing and the whole assembling process with all the different trees. These are the pine trees 
and I really tried to get all the positions right. This is the pastures, two of them, three of them, and some more deciduous trees, of course. Place it right there. Well, the trees really make a big difference, don't you think as well? When, when I look at the lake, somehow it looks still a bit boring, but after placing all the trees, and especially after filling up the lake with water, these are the three tiny boats, the whole scenery looks so alive, and boy, I was so looking forward to that moment. A straw! some water and here we go let's bring this scenery to life <laughs> let's see if we have any kind of leak in the lake but it looks good now that we finished the creation loot lake let's come back to the two things i bought the liquid purple clay and the melting bathing ball of course, we have to bring it into shape that it looks like the famous cube from Fortnite as we know it. And this may be confusing to you. Why is it red and not purple? Well, keep in mind that mixing dark blue with red will bring us a really nice... Oh, oh, oh no, a tiny bird, a sponge tiny bird I just killed. So I really hope that this red will match perfectly with the dark blue and that we have this typically purple but let's find out this is our cube and this is our experiment and we go in oh look at that it's melting all the tiny water bubbles it's still very red it, it looks fascinating but not like the the original cube melting in Loot Lake. Ah, uh, okay. I think this one was a failure. A, f a failure. F failure. <laughs> we need to take some toilet paper to, to clean it up and to get it out of our nice lake. But now, the liquid clay, this is our hope. Oh, look at that. This matches. This matches Loot Lake. This is Bouncy Lake as we know it. And now I have to clean it up. Guys, that's it! Loot Lake! I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had creating Loot Lake and also the tiny experiment with the soap. Please leave me down in the comments your opinion, what you think and maybe you have some further ideas for some future experiments we should do based on any game out there. I am ready for all these experiments. <laughs> I guess that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on Friday. Take care. Bye. And now I take a bath in Loot Lake. <laughs>